America, Tom Hand here in the Americana Corner. Today we're discussing the fall of Charleston. In February 1780, Sir Henry Clinton, the commander of British forces in North America, and 8,500 redcoats disembarked 30 miles south of Charleston, intent on capturing the Queen City of the South. Charleston was defended by 6,000 Americans, led by General Benjamin Lincoln, and included a fleet of 10 ships under the command of Admiral Abraham Whipple. By mid-April, the city was surrounded, and on May 12, 1780, Lincoln surrendered the city and his entire command. It would be the largest surrender of American forces until the Civil War. But, more importantly, it eliminated the Southern Continental Army. Clinton paroled the militiamen in return for their promise to remain neutral, and the backcountry men headed home to sit out the war. Within weeks, the remaining American garrisons in South Carolina surrendered, and the way was clear for the British to secure the entire state. But bad decisions turned the tide against the Brits. On May 29th, Lieutenant Colonel Bannister Tarleton and his British Legion savagely attacked a Continental outfit under Colonel Abraham Buford at Waxhaws, inflicting 70% casualties on the Americans. It was claimed Tarleton's troopers cut down men trying to surrender and bayoneted many wounded lying on the ground. The fight, known as Buford's Massacre, inflamed local passions. Then, on June 3rd, Clinton revoked his parole offer to the Patriot militiamen and demanded they take an oath of loyalty to England. Between Tarleton's butchery and Clinton's double dealing, the resolve of the backcountry people stiffened and men began to organize to take back their state from the British. Next week, we'll discuss the history of the backcountry of South Carolina. Until next time, may your love of country lead you. Thank you.